Have you ever bought the wrong switch and realized three ports too late? Yeah, we have been there. This unboxing series is here to help you choose the right device. It will show you what's inside, what it can do and when it makes sense. We are starting right where your network starts. At the edge with two 1G models from Edgecore Networks. You don't start building a house from the roof. Same with your network. Everything starts at the edge. And today we have got two switches on the table. The Edgecore 462554T, also called EPS 121, and 462554P, also called EPS 122. Two switches, almost same ports and same four factor. One powers your device, the other doesn't. We walk you through the key hardware, what each model is made for. And we will help you decide which makes more sense for your setup. So, which one do you need? Let's open them and find out. And yes, there is a surprise waiting at the end. But we will get there later. Quick question before we jump out of the box. When is the last time when you had full control over both your network hardware and software? Because that's what open networking all about is. And that's exactly where we come in. We are Stordis, a European team that lives and breathes open networking. Big players like Microsoft, Meta and Global Telcos already rely on open networking for freedom, control and better long-term value. And now more and more companies are making that the same move. We as a store this support you at every step from planning and design to setup, long-term maintenance and support. Whether you are building a small lab or full scale network across multiple sites, we are here to make sure it all works together. And when we say open, we don't just mean software. Sure, you choose your own NOS, like Sonic Linux, like IP Infusion OCNOS, or whatever fits your needs. But you also choose the hardware, not just from one brand. Today, we are starting with Edgecore, but we also work with Celestica, Eufy Space, and others. From switches through routers, optics to access points. We have built and tested the whole stack so you don't have to guess what works. So, ready to see what it looks like in practice? Let's open the EPS 121 and 122 and have a closer look. Here's what you will find in the box. The switch itself, two power cords, mounting brackets with the screws, micro USB cable, console cable and four adhesive feet for your switch. Nothing fancy, just everything you need to get it into the rack and running. Let's see what this box is really made of. EPS 121 is all about clean switching, no PoE here. You have got 48 standard 1G RJ45 ports, 6 uplinks with 10G SFP Plus ports, and a console port, dedicated management port, and even a micro USB storage port for your flexibility. That setup works great at the edge. Lots of 1G ports to plug in users or devices, and fast uplinks to send the traffic into the network without slowing things down. And under the hood, that's where it gets interesting. It's running the Broadcom Trident 3 X2, the same chip used in high-end enterprise and telecom networks. It is like putting a truck engine into a city car. You won't see it, but you will feel the difference when it's under the pressure. What's more for your knowledge? 
It is also a quad-core Intel Atom C3508 with 8 GB of RAM and 32 GB SSD. Solid processing and storage for anything you throw at it. And here something a lot of cheaper switches skip. You get two hot swappable 150 watts power supplies and three fixed fans in a 2 plus 1 redundant setup. That means if one fan fails, the other two keep the airflow going. No panic, no downtime. And yes, the thermal stability is one of those silent killers in networking. Ignore it and you will feel it. Airflow here is port to port, front to back for most data center racks. If your setup needs uh, the other way, you can also get this uh, in back to front airflow version. The EPS 121 delivers full layer 2 and layer 3 support, so you can set uh, up VLANs and even road traffic between them, all directly on switch without needing a separate router. And if you are connecting a lot of devices, it is ready for that too. You can control who plugs into each port, automatically send devices to the right network and have the switch recognize what's been connected the moment it is online. And when it comes to the system, Oni is already built in. It is a simple tool that lets you load the network OS that works best for your setup. You can install Sonic, Oknors or something else you prefer. So if you don't need to power devices but want rock solid, open and flexible switching, EPS 121 is a clean, reliable choice. Perfect for top of the rack, aggregation or campus spine rolls. But what if you need to, to do more just switch packets? What if you need to power your devices too? And just like that, meet the EPS 122. Same solid foundation, now with power at every port. On the outside, it looks almost identical. Same ports, almost same ports, same size, same build, same accessories. And under the hood, it is built almost on the same solid base. Broadcom Trident 3 X2, Intel Atom C3508, 8 GB RAM, 32 GB SSD, only full layer 2 and layer 3 support. Everything you already saw in EPS 121. But here's one big difference. Power over Ethernet. Ports 140 gives you up to 30 watts each, which means PoE plus. And ports 41 to 48 go all the way up to 90 watts per port. PoE++. plus plus. That means you can power things like Wi-Fi, 6E access points or PTZ cameras all through a single cable. No external power adapters, no extra cables, no mess. To handle that extra power draw, this model comes with two hot swappable 1200 watts AC power supplies and like the EPS 121, a 2 plus 1 fan setup for proper cooling and backup. And since PoE switches usually sit where the most devices connect, access layer, offices, shared space, this one includes features like make device management even easier. You can control access per port automatically assign VLANs and detect what's been plugged in the moment it connects. You still get 6 10G SFP plus uplinks, so pushing up traffic upstream isn't a problem, even when all ports are busy. So if you are building a setup where devices need both connectivity and power over the same cable, this is the one. So, EPS 122 is like EPS 121, 
just with a lot of more muscle for powering what's connected. So now you have uh, seen them both. Same shape, same ports, almost the same ports, but built for the different jobs. The question is which one fits your network better. Both the EPS-121 and EPS-122 share the same core. Broadcom Trident 3X2, Intel Atom C3508, 8GB RAM, uh, 32GB SSD and built-in ONI. They also handle 108 gigabit per second of total switching capacity and can move up to 61.6 uh, million packets per second. So even when there is a lot of going on in your network, everything keeps flowing smoothly. Think of it like a white highway with the fast toll booths, lots of cars, no traffic jams. So where is the difference? EPS 121 is for simple switching. With two uh, 150 watts power supplies and no PoE. EPS 122 adds real power with two 1200 watt suppliers to run PoE Plus and PoE Plus Plus across all 48 ports. Same foundation, different mission. And here is the best part. You can run Sonic on both the same system you might already be using at other points in your network. That means fewer surprises, more control and the real freedom to build things your way from the edge to the core. And hey, if you thought this was it and Stardis just ships you box with a switch inside, then I have a good news. There is more, much more. With us, you get real support. We help you plan, set things up keep it running and fix problems when they happen. Need fast help? We offer 24 per 7 support for Sonic and business warranty with advanced replacement for your hardware. So if uh, something breaks, we can ship you a new unit as soon as the next working day. No waiting, no guessing, just less downtime. We uh, are like your network's MNRC team. Quick to react, no time wasted. And if you want to learn more, we have courses, bootcamps and workshops. Hundreds of engineers across Europe and not only already trained with us. You can be the next. So, all right, let's bring this video to the end. So, what's next? You can get to know both switches even better over at distortdisc.com. Want full control? Grab bare metal. Want faster start? Go with the bundle with Sonic or Okno spray installed, tested and bucket by real support, all in one place. Oh, and the surprise I mentioned it earlier, check the description and there is a free Enterprise Sonic GNS VM. This was like the first gear, like uh, the first uh, Android. A solid start, but the real fun comes later. The next videos, faster switches, bigger builds and a lot of more to explore. Go on, hit the subscribe button. Unless of course you like being the last one to hear about the good content. And remember, open networking isn't just technology. It is a mindset, it is the freedom your network deserves.